Hi friends, thanks for joining me tonight. I'm going to try to make this really, really fast because if I breathe too much, it totally like covers up my face, my eyes. <laughs> Anyways, so today we're going to be making a face shield on our Scan and Cut. I use the, the Chalmis engraver to make a cute design. We're not, well maybe we could do that. We'll put the little kid's name on it. We're going to do kid size because I don't have the adult size. But all we need is some elastic, elastic, a hole punch, or you can cut this on the scan and cut. I did and it shifted, so I just went ahead and did the hole punch. I have double sided sticky tape on the back side of this piece of foam, and this goes all the way around the head. So I'm going to make a fabric one of these later and make one of these tonight. We'll cut the fabric out on the scan and cut. We'll do the whole thing all together. But for tonight, we're just going to make this and we're going to do it kid size. I'm going to show you how to do it with only the stuff on the machine already. You don't have to get online. And I'm sorry I'm looking away. I'm just not used to doing this kind of a video. <laughs> ah! Okay, see you guys in a second. Okay, I think I am ready to get on with this. Okay, so just to go over it again. We're making one of these. It's just a rounded rectangle, rounded corner rectangle. And I used a hole punch to make these hearts because I had it cut the hearts after this was cut. And so this was already like loose and so it shifted. So it kind of just drew the heart, it drew the circles on a little the wonky. So I, I mean, you can cut the circles first. That would be smart. And if I can remember to do that whenever I show you guys to do that we'll do that but if not just grab a hole punch and then I have double sided sticky tape on this it's the um, window cling kind the duck brand do I have it over here I do it's this guy right here okay and then I got this because I wanted to try it out it's the kind that goes on glass like to do like clear stuff on glass but I wanted to see if it would work with the um, foam, just in case you can't can't find this one. So we'll see. We'll see if the foam will stick to it. All right. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to put the Chamas Creations engraver tool in here. You just plop it in. And we're going to do the pattern. Let's just have it draw. Oh, sorry. I'm going really fast. So we'll go in here to the shapes and then right here BAA014 and I am on my CM350 today so we're going to have to set everything. We don't have, um, it's not the auto but that's okay. On the auto I found that you still have to do a lot of the settings too. The auto blade is awesome but it's not perfect and I I don't know why but I kind of like that. I like <laughs> I like the the you know we it looks like this wonderful magic thing but it's it's not that much different than this guy it is very sophisticated and cool anyways sorry blah 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 all right so i ran out of big pieces to make more for like adults but i have a bunch of small pieces from barbie fashion packs that we can do some for kids so with this one we're going to do a width of seven I don't have a kid to try this out on, so I'm just doing it basically the same kind of dimensions as the big one, but smaller. Oh, so I want to go seven by five, five at the max. Oops. Okay, and if you want to change this, this is fine with me, but if you want it to go up to five, just hit that one and then go up here. Can you see the screen? Oh my gosh, I've been trying to do all that and not even showing you guys. I'm really excited about this. My cousin asked me to make her some masks. Sorry about the angle. And I didn't want to just send regular surgical masks because those aren't really doing anything. So I did more research and I found that coupled with the shield, they're wonderful. Okay, so this button right here makes it where you, you can make them both move, move at the same time so they keep their um, dimensions. I, that's not the right word. but And then this one makes it where you can do them individually. The sides. Okay, so we're going to choose set. And 
I know it's roughly around here, but we're going to go ahead and scan it in anyways. Start. Okay, so this lets us put this directly on here. I already did test cuts, so those are over here on this side. I'll tell you my settings here in a second. Okay, make sure that it's in between the blue right there. And you can make it bigger or smaller depending on the person that you're making it for or what standard size you end up finding works best um, if you're making them in bulk. Okay, so from here... Oh, we have the, I forgot we had the Chamas Engraver in there. Let's make it a little bit smaller because we're just going to have it kind of do an outline on the inside and then it's going to cut that bigger size around it. So it'll give it a lip like, I don't know if you can see that very well. Okay, so... Can you see that drawing around on the inside right there? That's the engraver. So is this. This is one of the, that's the like string of hearts design. And then this is just the engraver on the inside. So it kind of gives it a nice little professional look. We're going to click OK. And then, oh yeah, let's go ahead and add, let's add writer's name. Let's see. This one will be nice. R Y D E R. Okay. Okay. Bring it down here. Oh, look at that. It fits right in there. Let's click OK. We're going to choose Draw. And I found that with Draw on the settings, my draw pressure of 9 and draw speed of 1 gives us a really good. I mean, it's just engraving into plastic, so it's not going to give you a perfect vision you know it's going to be kind of hard to see but if you put it in the light right it looks great so let's get right around there click ok and draw and we'll choose start it says attach the appropriate holder and I did click ok click start sorry that wasn't focusing <laughs> even after all these years I'm still not very good Cameraman, woman, camera lady, camera person. So this will be like right in front of his eyes, but it's all clear, so he's not going to see any of it. See right through it. Maybe I should have moved it down a little bit. I'll let you know what the review is once we get it to them. <laughs> I have a feeling they won't wear them very much, but their mom, so the reason I'm making these, my cousin is working with kids right now, she's helping feed the kids in her community, and they don't have any kind of protection whatsoever, so she asked me to make a surgical mask, I think that I already did say that part, um, that's cool, so it, in, it embossed it a little bit, so it kind of cuts better on one, one side, you can see. And then does a little bit in there. So like with acrylic and you know other kind of more professional grade stuff you're going to get much better results with this engraver but this thing is so cool. Alright so let's click OK. And now from here let's go back in. Oops. Go in here, delete that, click OK. And then we're going to click on the size and we're going to go ahead and make it big again 7 by 5 if we can get this thing to do that perfectly would be awesome yeah okay okay so you can go in here and add the circles and I would go at like 0.15 I wish we could tell the machine what order to cut it in. Like, if I could tell it to cut this first, I guess I can set them and delete it. Okay, so grab that. 
that there and if you want it to be perfect if it has to be absolutely perfect you can go in here and go to edit and zoom in and get it perfect okay I'm not gonna do that I don't want to drive you guys crazy okay so let's grab that again and what we're gonna do is go in here and we're gonna go to number sometimes I get confused between the two machines now like the settings and what we're supposed to use okay that looks like it's pretty on we'll click OK we're gonna choose cut and it says it's gonna take a minute to cut my cut pressure is three my cut speed is one and my settings on my blade are little under nine Okay, but do your own test because everybody's is going to come out different. Your um, packaging might be thinner or thicker, you know, so always do tests. Always, 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 always. Okay. 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 Did you hear okay enough tonight? See that one moved. Oh, that's so annoying. But that's okay. That's okay. Hole punchers are good. And my hole punch is shaped like a heart, so it's adorable. Okay. Yay! Alright. So writer is set up. It did cut this first one. But it didn't want to cut the second. It did the little drawing like I thought like it did to the last one. So I just have my hole puncher. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna zoom you out, put this stuff away for a second, and then we can move on to the next part of this. We are done with the scanning cut. If you are a put it away as you go person, you can put your scan and cut away. We are done with that part. Let's put that away. That's very distracting and bright. All right, so we want the we want the um, foam part to be on the back side, so that whenever he's looking out, it says his name. All right. And I have this piece of foam that I just cut off of a bigger, like a big piece of foam, and. Um, this is the 3M double-sided sticky tape clear. I wish they would put that stuff on the inside there. It's like clear something or other. I don't know. It says clear like glass or I can't remember exactly. Okay. Oh, it's very, very, very sticky on that. Okay. And then let's get this. Probably don't need that up that high. Oh, you guys aren't even seeing that. Sorry. <laughs> There's cat hair on everything. Good thing these are going to my family, huh? <laughs> Okay, yay! And then with the, with the, mm, what is this stuff called, the elastic? So you just put it in and you can tie it as pretty as you want it or as regular as you want to. And then I would suggest making it a little loose on the back because you don't know how big or, or little their heads are going to be and they can always um, make it smaller if they need to be but it's hard to make it bigger you know the kid's head is bigger and just like that 
we have an extra layer of protective gear for our little babies. And this will go right over his face. And like I said, I did a lot of, he's going to have, I don't know if he's going to have trouble seeing through that or not. We're going to find out. I'll let you guys know. But, um, so I found this, I, I went through a lot of tutorials trying to make one of these. My cousin wanted me to make fabric version of these for her. And, um, I know that they didn't really do anything. So I looked up all these versions and then I consulted with my friend who is a medical professional um, but you know, she can't give me official medical advice, but she did say that these are wonderful. She liked it and, um, and that it would be for, totally fine to share with the public on how to do these. And, um, you know, obviously they're not going to save you from coronavirus, but they will definitely protect you from getting it in your eyes and stuff. So, um, yeah. I hope that this was helpful. I, I know that I, I blabbed a lot. I'm just, when I get really excited, I can't keep my, my thought process <laughs> in the straight line. Um, I hope that you can forgive me for that. So here we go. This one is for, for my cousin and this one is for her son. And I'm going to make one more for the daughter. And I'm going to do that live on the Facebook group, um, Brother Scan and Cut with Clever Dog Design, Brother Scan and Cut for Beginners with Clever Dog Designs. So come and find us on Facebook. Um, I'll probably do that in about 30 minutes or so. Well, I guess, I don't know why I'm telling you this because this is going to be an edited video and you guys are going to see this later. So um, look in the group <laughs> for the next one I'm going to do of this um, for, uh, for the daughter. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Talk to you later. Bye.